Last week, Dad installed the oven, stovetop, and dry fit the vegetable sink. Bryson figured out the design of the tuck-away shelf on the desks. An unexpected snowfall collapses our hoop barn. We all work together to prop it back up. Stay tuned as we continue on the addition to the main house and the gaming desks. What you got there, Big Gear? This will be the last little bit that's gonna go in the island. I didn't quite have the island cabinets all done. This will be all the mechanics for the downdraft overhead that you normally get above an oven. We're gonna actually have a side draft that'll be pulling you know, smoke and fumes and whatnot from your stovetop right down in there. Because I had an idea about that. Oh yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, magnets. Put some like really strong magnets right in there. Yeah. I like that idea. So, the door mechanism is finally complete. I got the bolt stoppers in. Stopper so you can't push it all the way back that way. This will go down. Down. Nice. Pretty much stupidity proof. <laughs> But well, the hoop barn has made us reassess this place over here. Maybe moving that and putting something else here, a little building. We really are liking the amount of space where you have had for the hoop barns. We had a nice building or stuff to put it in. And It'll be multi-purpose for other things in the future, who knows. So maybe start there for a storage area, because if we're gonna take the hoop barn down, we're gonna have a lot yeah, of stuff we gotta to store. store. A lot of stuff while we're working on that. It's already cemented in here. I mean, it's gonna be all ready for us to rock and roll here. Right, we just did some painting on them. These are a couple shelves to go in our island. Yay! Faces! Faces. Wires should be in here somewhere. Yeah. Like. So it's gonna go like this. You decided to just do a hole. No. I can't believe that it's gotta big. be that big. Wow. Only because the biggest keyboard thing that I have, and even then, it's gonna be a tough fit because this is rounded such a thick cord. It's not oh, he does? Yeah, I do. The hole is perfect. Mine doesn't have to be so big. Right now I'm measuring for this cabinets that will be going in here. My next project is, is to get that sink section done, the cabinet for the sink, the big sink to set in. Doing the floor plan and how this is gonna look to see all the stuff that goes into it. So this side over here is gonna have a pull out shelf this direction. And then on this other side of it, we'll have our garbages here on this side and then a divider with another shelf here and some pull out. Pretty much all of the little funky little mechanics done for the drawer. So now we can work on the topper so that our drawing screen can sit right underneath it and our big monitor on top of it. So when we get the little second piece all done, we gotta cut out a more piping for the legs and then throw some more buttons on both ends of the board that is gonna set and also the current desk that's sitting there now. This is so cool. Can I get one more <laughs> Let's put it together. Shall we? It, it may be too high. If my screen was right here, that's nice. You were just blessed with short legs like me. I can lower <laughs> it an inch. Yikes. Think of your screen thick up here. That's not, that's not bad. It seems far away though, but. That's a little bit high for me. It'd be better if the screen was right here. We could yeah, bring an inch, we could bring it down think. an inch. What's going on here, guys? I made it <laughs> Yes, we can. <laughs> just, with that, we can just slide it over. One little hole, and they all just start pouring out like a sand jar. <laughs> all the cans that our neighborhood has produced. I think someone said that we probably didn't even know what a snow shovel was last week. Well, I do. I know just the use for it. All the 
movement caused them to settle, and now we have a lot more room on top. Hey, what a deal. <laughs> uh, all it needed was a canopy. <laughs> it's a can-do job. <laughs> Our dividers are dry. Shall we put them in? Yeah, let's go do it. Yes. These are the shelves for going in here yeah. and the other drawer. Dividers. I'm gonna make some more. It's just <laughs> a little sticky because of the paint. I think it needs some grease. <laughs> okay. You will work for me. Whether you want to. Ooh. That, that's good. That has gone further. Smooth. Look at how smoothly that went in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With what? We just backed up. Oh. Oh, okay. Dad had to leave because he couldn't watch. 4,500 and taps later. We're inching towards success. A little bit at a time. <laughs> A million taps later. Did you see how easily those slid in there? Bye. Thanks, Bri. Uh, if you need AM or something, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> I think the divider should have been over more. Should we oh. get them back here? Uh, yes. <laughs> Stat. I really like that. Me too. I can store a lot. I think we will get another divider in here or so, you know? Mm -hmm. This is great. Ten out of I'll ten. with that. Ten out of ten. All right, should we head over and work on desks and stuff Let's over there? Do it. I'm ready. We took it down an inch and a half, so that'll fit real nice underneath there. Ooh, we even got some gapping. Bryson likes this size. I'm not a huge fan, but I have an arm, so I'm gonna hook the arm to this. It'll be sitting more on this board. Are you stuck? Oh, okay, I thought you were stuck. You doing okay? Okay, whoa, you're getting kind of fat. You about ready to deliver some babies or what? Huh? The uh, table is designed so that we can get a four foot sheet this way, eight foot this way. Since we put our new post up, I went, oh no, we're gonna be able to get it out. So I measured here, I got about 51 inches. So there's enough room and I can get that shoved through all the way two inches past, so just enough room. The cabinet's not a regular 24 inch depth cabinet because the countertop has to be a little bit bigger to accommodate a larger sink, a commercial sink. The thing's nice when you can cut it in half. But uh, in this case, I got 27 inches, which is a little more than 24, which is half of a sheet. So it burns a whole chunk of a material. Let's say get out the four foot board stretcher. And then we... All right, let's see what we can do here. What is this? This is the kitchen sink cabinet. Oh. The bottom of it, sides. Next we'll be cutting out the sides and the back and the top and bottom for the cabinet that's gonna go for the sink. I'm hiding in the shade from the sun because it's so bright. We're just adding in all the holes. We gotta run all the cords up and around to the monitors, to the mouse pad, everywhere else. And so. because we're streaming, we have a whole bunch of other cords that normal people wouldn't have. We're gonna run all the wires through the desk. That was one of the benefits of doing PVC. Honestly, it's just a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Can I have that whole bit? <laughs> you want whole or half? I would like half, please. Just getting there, getting ready to put a divider in and the rest of the back pieces, and then it's time to do the facing. Looks like a cabinet. Yes, it does. It's coming along so good. What is this board for now, Gare? This is the other separation with the garbage and the... Oh, the drawers? Drawers for that. Ah. Drawer All right. <coughs> so this is for the big sink. Yep, big sink drops in there. Our garbage will fit in there, and on this side will be pull drawers. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Hey, how's it going in here, guys? Good. Good. My favorite part, which is the paint. Bryson's uh, cherry red. 
This is one of his pieces here. They put this on my face. I don't like it. <laughs> and I feel a little like Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. I don't know how he projected. How did he project? If I was screaming, no one would hear me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Now Brie can feel what we've been feeling. <laughs> Don't you think, Brie? No. I'm sorry I can't hear you because you have a respirator on. <laughs> And look at That's all right. of the little dings and marks on here. I'll show it through. So we'll have to spray paint them twice then? And then look at all the wording. That doesn't go away neither. We have a young goat that needs to be milked every morning. She's young, so she's really kind of skittish. There she is at the end of the herd. Behold, the scared goat in her natural habitat. I don't want to struggle with that. Plus then she'll just learn to run from us. We don't want that. She doesn't understand that, hey, there's food in this milking stanchion. You're really going to enjoy this. And she runs away from the herd. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Good boy. We decided that we'd bring in my dog, Bullet, to help us catch her, who has a natural instinct for rounding goats up and keeping them together. Round them up. Oh, he's like a Border Collie mix, but for some reason he got that really cool Border Collie trait of keeping herds together. If one runs off, Bullet will dash after him and get him back to the herd. It's pretty neat. Goats naturally like to run back to a herd too, so it doesn't take much. He just has to run out there and suddenly the goat's running back. Good job, Bullet. Good job, come on, Bullet. Eventually she'll catch on that she likes it and we won't have to use the dog anymore. Catch you, good boy. Herder. Come on. She's still learning to be on a leash. Come on, little lady. Yeah. Once she gets to the gate, she dashes on in. Like, yeah, I'm ready. Is life better now? Yeah, life better. Yeah, you know there's goodies in here. Pretty soon she'll have this down. She will. She doesn't buck when you melt her. It's just paint. Cherry red paint. I've been painting Bryson's red poles for his desk. She's a very good milker. Yes, yeah, she is. She's gonna be a good one. See, just getting used to it. You're gonna figure it out, my baby girl. Yeah. Look how much milk she gave. That's a lot of milk considering her baby's still on her too. Are you ready to go back to the herd? Huh? Yes! <laughs> she just barrels out of here, man. <laughs> I've already got the facing on that cabinet for the sink and now it's just time to fill some holes, sand it all down, get the primer on and get it ready for paint. We weren't sure how to do the veneer around the, uh, desk. the desk, so we asked Dad how to do it. Not that hard. Okay. The thing you gotta watch for is that as you're ironing, this slides both directions, so just make sure you're on. When it gets hot, that glue sticks, so if you get the glue on you, it's hard to get it off because it's sticky and it's really hot, so. Okay. I usually just get a corner and start there. I wasn't sure you how You gave long. us some tips and tricks. Yeah. Like getting the glue on your finger will burn it. How long do you keep it on there? Oh, about 10 seconds gets us started. I might be able to do it. Right. You can't, I could do it. I'll suck it up, buttercup. That's it. Kind of makes sense, but I'm glad we asked. That was simple. And then yeah. do you use a razor blade to cut up around it? I do, I let it cool though before Maybe I do. About, like, do you sand this? How you long does it take it to cool? Just lay the razor blade on there and just, uh, just go slow, it's not a raise. Ooh, flush. Some sandpaper and this is ready to go. Sand the edges a little bit, let it blend in. And now we know. We're wiser about it now, we know. Well, I see wood particles. You could get wood stuff in your eyes, Brie. You better wear safety glasses. I have glasses. They're not safety glasses. But isn't real glasses a form of safety glasses? These can take stuff? something, what, up to like 90 miles per hour projectiles? Yeah. And those can't, so How that's why this How fast do you think I'm be... working? Oh, should I go and get the other one from here? Mm-hmm, sure. So you have to go around all of this stuff? Really, just to the edge of this, all the way to the edge of this. Look that ball going to be. What bug are we looking at here? Beetle of some kind. I forget they can crawl on the side. <laughs> <laughs> And 
the cabinet's all painted up. I still have a couple doors to put on. Now I'm ready to go ahead and pull the sink from the kitchen. This was just one that was gonna go in our utility room. Gary brought it out, installed it in here just as a temporary sink while we were doing the remodeling in here. We ended up just falling in love with the sink. I love the big size and you can get these faucets to go above. It kind of reminds me of those old days when I was a dishwasher, my first job, you know, you yeah. <laughs> were doing dishes. It's got a few dents at the bottom. I'm gonna bang those out. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit and modify this to fit into the wonderful space that this is gonna take place here. I need some work. I'm gonna do some um, sanding on and buffing, uh, get some dents out of it, kind of remodel the top of it so I can get the backsplash to work. This is Esther, our friend. Hi. And she's gonna help us move these into their homes. All of them? Are they all going over? Um, that guy stays here. Sorry. That's the one going over, right? This is the one that needs to go over. That's maybe the lighter side. Watch your step here when you come out. Perfect. I'll follow you guys. Paint it with the white paint? No. Welcome home, little cabinets. This guy, I think he goes in here like this. Slides up here. After we pull out the other things, now we'll just slide it under. So, I'm not really sure where that thing goes. I'm assuming on the back of that. Yeah, does it go right there? Yeah. Thank you, Esther. You rock. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get our goatees in. Come on, goatees. Let's go in. So much fun. It's like, come on. Let's go in. Let's go. Got boy. Bullet, come here. Let's get this last goat in. Going in, all the way. Atta boy. Oh, what is going on, Giz? You missing out? Are you missing out on all the fun? Can get to round up the goats? What's a big deal with that? They brought this in. in. Brought this over and got to put it into place. It is upside down and backwards. Uh, <laughs> Let's get it right. How does it go? Okay, and then it would be pushed yeah. all the way back, probably, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got some things in the way, but for the most part, that's how it goes. This will be a temporary panel that we can screw on or screw off if we need to get into this mechanical area. Yeah, till we get the mechanical in and put it in for sure. Yeah, well, uh, looks nice. Cool. Then we'll sand everything down and paint it up, stain it. It'll be all done. Yeah, and you'll work on the second desk, finishing that up. So, yes. Beautiful. We gotta get so close. <laughs> It's came together so good! It's gonna be great hideaways for all of our cords. You'll be able to pull it out like this, and then this will slide under like that. The monitors and stuff are actually gonna tuck up underneath here. You won't see them. They'll go on the sides here. Little... There's actually a hole. There's a hole here too, and, and a, a hole, hole here. here. They can go down in, they go over. This way. So come out these holes over here. This, there's a hole here. This really great. came together really, really well. I and I can't wait too. to get it down there, get some lighting on it. The, it looks amazing. I can't wait to get it using this thing. That wraps up this week. Next week, we'll be moving those desks down into the studio. We're pretty excited to get them all set up and functioning. The merch design of the week is this one here. If you remember last week, our hoop barn fell down. We had the suggestion to do the design on the hoop barn. We loved it, so that's what we did. Prepare for the worst, hoop for the best. We have free shipping going on until Sunday on the shop as well. If you'd like to check that out, the link will be down in the description. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of our family. We'll see you next Friday. Bye. I did an oopsie. He has this natural instinct to keep the herd together. I don't know, it must have been years worth of all those old farmers who needed to keep their cattle together. I don't know. I am your father. <laughs> Sunrise. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. We've decided I'll take the gentler one because... No. They're both pristine no. works of art. If it breaks down on her, I'll have to go fix it. What are you doing, Brian? You petting it?
So you're going to name it Mike? 